Hi guys. So I'm back with another video. This one I haven't done in quite a while. Um, yes, by the way, I got my hair cut. Finally, I've always had long hair past my waist and everything. So I finally got a haircut. So that's exciting. I like it actually. I haven't had short hair since high school, maybe early high school or something like that. But anyway, um, so let me show you the things that I've got in the mail. I've had credits to different stores, um, just different things in the mail. So I'll do the simplest things first or the freebie stuff first, which I haven't said that in such a long time, but I have a couple pinch me boxes. So I actually got these boxes a little while ago. I do get some freebies from time to time. I just don't share them, but um, let's see. Nice little pink box. I'm assuming this was from February. I don't know. Oh, there's a couple things in here. Okay, so the first thing is the Garnier Whole Blend Gentle Shampoo Oat Delicacy. So it's just a sample pack. Actually, these little sample packs, um, they're really like this particular brand, the Garnier Whole Blends. They you only need a little bit. Now my hair is shorter, so that doesn't even come into play anymore. But usually I always complained about the conditioner not being enough and it's definitely plenty and then you can get a free box from Grays. I used to subscribe to Grays, but I don't any longer anyway there's the code right there in case you're interested you can get a free box of Grays. it's just like a snack box you can get it like every week every three weeks you can change it up and and um, get what you want it was either I think it's six dollars and then they have a twelve dollar box or something like that or $5 and a $10 box. Anyway, I don't get it anymore. But And then this is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish with crushed macadamia and rice milk. This looks super interesting. I saw this in another box or whatever recently, but I like um, body polishes, body scrubs, that kind of stuff. And then the last thing in here is the RX Bar for Kids. Um, and it just has all the ingredients listed here in the front. It says two egg whites, four almonds, five cashews, one date, no bad stuff. So that's that right there. And then I have one more pinch box. I don't know if it's the same thing or whatever, but let's see. Um, yeah, everything is the same in this box except for this one says it's apple cinnamon raisin. What was this one? Berry Blast, and this one's Apple Cinnamon Raisin, so it's just two different flavors. And then I have a Walmart Beauty Box, which I'm not sure when this came. Was this in February also? I'm really not sure. I think it was recent. Um, it doesn't tell you what month, but it usually comes out every season. So, ooh, pretty. I, I swear I've opened this before. It's not like it's brand new, but if you know me, that's so typical of me to be like, ooh, like I've seen it for the first time every single time. So, I almost lost it. Okay, so this is a cute little polish in there, you see? So this is all the things in the box. So we've got the P2 Volume Gloss Get Look Gel Look Polish. This one's in Princess. This is really pretty, pretty, pretty. I would love to paint my nails like this. Um, recently, I've been going to the salon and getting my nails done. So I don't know if I get a chance to use this or not, but it's really pretty. And then, oh, this is always nice to have. These are placards um, and they're mint flavored. There's 12 little floss sticks in here. Fresh start, new formula, no visible residue, volumizing dry shampoo. Excellent, I'm definitely gonna be needing more of this because if I curl my hair, I definitely don't wanna wash my hair every single day because I don't wanna put heat on my hair all that often so dry shampoo yes and this is a hydrating cream radiance renewal with coconut oil cocoa butter and african shea butter exfoliates and nourishes it exfoliates too weird okay and a couple more things in here in the very bottom this is a coupon for 35 cents for those placards um, Ultimate Nail Perfection under $5, P2 Cosmetics. Oh, they're available at Walmart only, I guess. So, there you go. And then this is a 
donkey milk sleeping mask. Hmm. It has donkey milk restore moisture overnight mask. It feels like just like a cream, but not like a mask mask. So I guess you just, I'm, gonna, I'm interested in trying this one out. It's a funky name, but. Okay, I think I'll try this out tonight, actually. It would be really good, I think. So we have the dry shampoo, the donkey milk mask, the placards, uh, flossing thingies or whatever, <laughs> and the gold bun cream, and this nail polish here in Princess, which is really good. And the Walmart Beauty Box is only $5. So $5 and it's every season. They send it to you automatically. They say the box is free and you pay $5 for shipping, but whatever, it's $5. Okay, the next thing I got was from Hope Look and I ordered this like, I wanna say two weeks ago. Um, and it's when Tarte was on there. So I ordered the Tarte um, Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. I wanna say this is like the first version because I think that they have another version. Um, I was able to fix the lighting on here. I, could, I forgot, it's been so long since I've been recording and I couldn't figure out how to fix the, the lighting on here, but now I think I got it. I think I did it after how many minutes of recording. Anyway, so um, let me see. This was on the site, I want to say like 20 bucks or something like that. 20, 22 dollars. Um, it's super heavy too. So I really love this packaging and the shades inside. And it has a humongous mirror. Look at how big that mirror is. And look at the, the shades inside. It's got all these beautiful neutral shades, which is exactly what I tend to go for. <clears throat> And it does have like a little um, little step-by-step -step kind of thing that gives you like a hint of what you could possibly do with this palette. Oh my god, seriously, I need my glasses. I can't read these little tiny letters in the back. All right, now I can flip and read. Okay, I really like the way that this is set up, how they have, um, they're like three little mini palettes here. They have a darker version, medium, and then a lighter one. Um, I just really like these these shades. I like the browns, you know, I definitely would mix in going back and forth throughout the whole thing. I like that they have the larger pan of the the um, the lighter shades right there because you can add those all over the lid and it's so much better, you know, because you run through those so quickly. Very super, super, super nice. Okay, and then I got a, another little package here from Strivectin to try out. Um, the box came all banged up and smushed, but it didn't bother anything that was on the inside. Um, Strivectin is a, a company that I use religiously with for my skincare. It's fantastic. They sent me a, a little card here with a little message, um, and what they sent me is their new product here. This is the anti-wrinkle line blur 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 factor Ugh, that is so hard I have tried to say that so many times blur factor um, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this actually you know what I need to read so let me let me leave my glasses on so I can kind of sort of read this a little bit it says here instantly fill and blur the appearance of deep lines and creases to prevent makeup from caking into into and magnifying the look of wrinkles Lightweight, breathable formula goes beyond blurring to steal in skincare benefits while prolonging makeup wear. Um, it prevents makeup from settling into the creases and extends wear and optical blurring microspheres. Scatter light to blur wrinkles and imperfections. So they do have um, some before and after pictures. This is like immediately after. And I have used it. It comes in the box just like this. And um, it looks typical of all their other products. It's one fluid ounce. It looks just like this and it is like um, I Want to say it's not silicone based, but it's like a cream But a little bit thicker than a cream like you know, it's almost silicone like but it's not I don't know how to explain it, but it does help smooth out the fine lines and the pores and um, it 
I noticed that it has like I'm wearing it I have it on today not like you can tell I have it on but I do have it on um, and it gives like this very soft smooth kind of silky um, um, canvas for you to work on I do use other primers on my face I use this one specifically um, where I have larger pores here around my nose under my eyes where I have some fine lines so um, but I do use like a mattifying primer in the t-zone and I just add this on the top just to kind of fill in everything and it's almost like a powdery finish which is really cool so I really like this primer and you don't need very much of it you just need a little tiny bit like a little pea size amount and it's really really nice it's a little bit different like if I had to compare this to another primer I would say it's in between the um, professional but that one is very very thick this one's not so thick this is in between the professional and like a lotion like primer which is really nice because the professional can sometimes um, not play so well with makeup and this one didn't kind of fight with my makeup at all so it just in the makeup went right over it no problem um, and there's no separation like sometimes when I use the professional to fill in my pores around my nose especially it separates by the end of the day and I have long long days I wake up at five o'clock in the morning and I don't get home and take my makeup off until 10 o'clock sometimes sometimes even later so I have really really long days and so I need my makeup to last all day long not five hours not six hours it needs to be an all-day thing so I might touch up a little bit but um, I can't be messing around with 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 stuff that are separating I can't I can't I can't deal with it so the first one that I got these are super cute these are like a very light pink peachy type of um, material here with these little silver studs all over they're very very cute um, let me see if I can remember these are called the Ta Taisha flat sandal and again like I said these are in seven and a half um, what happened was is that I typically wear wide if I get size 7 I'd like to get wide but they didn't have wide so it was 7 and then this was really tight around my foot it fit perfectly like the length of the shoe but the width was too tight so I exchanged them for a seven and a half and now they're slightly long at the toes but I still like them I think they're okay and then I got two pairs of these particular shoes one in black these are the solia flat sandal and basically they kind of fit like this like it goes around your ankle and then it's around your the top of your foot like that so these are super super comfortable again they were super tight around here so i got a seven and a half and they fit much better and then i got a brown pair also i like these these are cute uh, like that they're a little um a little bit complicated to put on but they look really cute on they're really comfortable so for that i like them and that's the reason why i did exchange them for a larger size because when i put them on initially when they were a size seven they were really comfortable they were just a little bit tight around the foot and th these fit perfectly now these are super cute they were comfortable too but i was like they're a little bit narrow again in the toe like they didn't have a wide version in my size i think these came in wides but i couldn't get them in wide for me but this one these are so cute they come in like three or four different shades this is like a light blush pink color super comfortable i'm all about wearing comfortable shoes if they're not comfortable i can't wear them i'm just not that girly girl that wants to wear uncomfortable shoes i just i just can't i try to but i can't um so anyway so i got these in a seven and a half it says seven hold up now oh boy these are the wide versions okay so this is a seven and it's a seven wide and for some odd reason the seven fit very nice except for it's too tight here this is the wide version it fits really nice here but they're freaking long as hell so I have like a big gap in the back of my shoe I don't understand I really like these these look really really cute on but now they're too big 
I'm so confused. What should I do? I'm going to send these back because they don't fit. But now I don't know what size to get. It's so irritating when, when you get this shoe. I just realized that these are the same size shoe but wide. And they, they don't fit. And the sevens were really nice. Like they fit like my foot lengthwise. It was just tight here. And now it fits perfectly here. And they're too long. But they're still size seven. Whatever. Freaking just fab. <laughs> All right. And then this is, I actually went to DSW. I had to get my daughter some little cute shoes for her dress. And these are so cute. And I can actually wear them. They're so comfortable. These are from Naturalizer. Naturalizer? But look how cute these shoes are. They do wrap around the ankle. Let me see. I'll do this one because this one's kind of attached still. That's my son playing video games. In case you hear screaming in the background. Um, so it looks like this. They're so cute. And they're so comfortable. Um, they're a wide chunky heel. Which I really like. Because if they're not chunky. I will fall on my face. And they do have a nice um, cushion right here. Which is great too. And the cushion goes all the way down to the the ball of the shoe down here so you're not you know the ball of your foot is not killing you so I really like these I can actually wear curly shoes hello naturalizer and these are bigger these are a size eight because size seven and a half were too tight like around here on my toe and I'm like uh, let me just go and actually my foot was like hanging off the back of the shoe which was weird so these are size eight and they fit perfectly um, so I guess if you get a naturalizer shoe, you have to up one size, I don't know, or half a size. So those are the recent things that I've gotten in the mail and then one thing from DSW. But so there you go. All right. I hope that was kind of sort of interesting for you. Um, let me know what you think about Just Fab. I'm very curious if you guys have purchased from Just Fab. Um, I'll put a link down below. If you're interested in checking them out, it's like a, I think it's a referral or I'm honest to God, I really don't know. It's, I think I get something out of it, maybe points. I really don't know. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, go check out Just Fab. Let me know if you've used it. If you have used it, what's your experience? Have you gotten shoes? Have you had to return them all frequently? You know, I'm very curious. What's the technique there and how to buy? All right, you guys, thank you so, so much for coming by and checking out my video. And uh, yeah, I'm still getting used to my hair, my short hair. That's so weird, but it's cute. I like it. It's make, it makes me feel younger. I have a lot more hair on my head, so I think I don't, but it just feels like I do. I'm going to go back and at the end of the month, she gave me a really nice color. Um, and I'm going to go back at the end of the month and do that balayage balayage I think that's how you call it um and so I'm really excited about that I can't wait to see because it's going to show some like give some depth to it and and some something interesting instead of just one flat color so I'm really excited about that but it's really easy to take care of and I, I'm just loving it I feel so renewed and refreshed it's great anyway that's it you guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you at another one